Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing something I've been meaning to do for, I was gonna say months, but I think I mean years. And that is a very savage, savage wardrobe clear out. Now, I'm not doing this because I have too many clothes. I actually don't think I have that many clothes in the grand scheme of things. I think I just have a lot of clothes that I don't wear. I find myself always reaching for the same outfits and I'll go into drawers that are full up and I'll be like, oh, I have no tops, but my drawer of tops is full. So like, what the hell is in there if I don't think I have any tops? So my aim today is to really savagely clear things out and make way for new things. I wanna rework my wardrobe. I've been shopping over the past few months and especially in my summer sales video that I uploaded, I think it was last week. If I upload this when I meant to, it would be, the last video I did was everything I bought in the summer sales and I genuinely love those clothes. They actually bring me excitement and joy. Like I had them on and I just felt amazing. And there's a lot of my wardrobe that does not do that for me. So I think it's time to let it go, to say goodbye. <laughs> I'm really trying to psych myself into this because I'm the type of person, when I do have a clear out, I just think I'm gonna need everything. Like I'll be like, oh, I've not worn this in four years, but what if I wanna wear it tomorrow? And then I won't wear it for another year and I just hold on to things. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm a little bit nervous because I really wanna like be savage and I'm starting this like savage, savage, but I'm feeling a bit like savage, but maybe. <laughs> I wanna reorganize everything. Like you can see part of my wardrobe here. This is some clean washing. I don't know what those boxes are at the back. So I should probably find that out today. I have a huge box of shoes underneath the bed. I've not opened that in over a year. I mean, granted we have been in lockdown, but come on, like I don't even know what's in there at this point. <laughs> I have got this wardrobe and it's got shoes at the top. I've got a chest of drawers over here, which I'll show you. I've got a big bag of like old shoes. I've got a box of shoes under the bed. I have got some drawers behind the door. I've got some stuff hanging on the door. I'm also gonna go through some of my bags. Not my designer bags, but I only have a few designer bags, so you're not really missing out on much. Although there is one I'm thinking of selling, so I might show you guys to get an opinion. I had a bit of a cold before I moved, but it was basically me just throwing away like old pajamas, old worn down basics, and all of my corporate work wear. I threw away all of my corporate work wear. <laughs> apart from one pair of pants. I also had like a mini clear out two weeks ago, but it's still sitting in the front room in a box. So I need to decide what I'm doing with that too. We're gonna do it, we are going to do it today. I think I'm gonna start off with the wardrobe because I want to hang some more stuff. So if I start with the wardrobe, as I'm going through things, I will have space to hang things. And then we'll do like the clean washing last so that I have actual space in my drawers to put things. But yeah, I am stalling. Let's get this started. I hope this inspires some of you who are wanting to clean out your wardrobe too. Why don't you just do it with me? Like, let's just do it together because this is gonna be a hell of a long video. So <laughs> let's, just, let's just support each other in this moment, okay? Okay, I wanna start in the wardrobe, but I just wanna know what's in these boxes. I think they are my boyfriends. I hope they are, because that's less work for me. So we're just gonna check. Okay, yeah, this is definitely his. I'm gonna take this out of the room. Out of sight, out of mind. This is, oh, okay. It's mostly documents, so this needs to go in my office, but this is like a shoe holder that I bought and I feel like this will come in handy with organizing. I'm gonna throw that on the bed. This is a nice angle, go. Okay, so starting from the beginning, I have a Lilac Juicy Couture tracksuit. I'm gonna keep all of these because I wear these so much, especially the pants. I have the pink pants on today. I live for these. They're like my favorite loungewear. So the pink one will stay. I have this co-ord from Shein, which I love. Really love this so it's staying, but I need to buy an iron. I don't know where my iron's gone, but clearly I cannot wear this until I find one or buy one. I have this little co-op. This is from Misguided's Peace and Love. It's like a shirt and it's also a pair of shorts. They're high-waisted, they like open up at the front so nice. I know I love this and it's like a go-to holiday outfit for me, so this will absolutely stay. I have this hoodie from Boy London and I just have never worn it. And I think it's because I don't really wear like baby blue. 
and it's a shame because it is beautiful it's like embroidered it's still got the tags on <laughs> it is so nice it's like oversized extra large i think i'm actually going to get rid of this because i've never worn it which is sad but i feel like i prefer one in a black or a nude or white and i get a lot more wear out of it I have this knitted shirt from Boohoo. It's just cute and I always wear it, so we're gonna keep that. I have this top. Now, I actually really like this. This is also from Boohoo and it's a cute, like, asymmetrical moment. It looks really cute with anything high waisted. So, I think I wanna keep this, but I need to know if it fits because I haven't worn this in a long time and a lot of stuff doesn't fit me anymore. So, I'm gonna put it in a need to know if it fits pile i have this pink jumper with my initials on and i had this custom made it's from a site actually i got it from my instagram page called go get personalized they do like all the colors you can put any initials any word it's actually really cute i'm gonna keep this i had my black pink hoodie like no questions at all okay i have this it's like a jumper and tracksuit bottom set now, I've never ever worn the jumper, ever, and I'm not sure if I ever will, but I do wear the tracksuit bottoms to the point where the tracksuit bottoms and the jumper are different colours now because these have been washed so much. So I'm probably going to keep the trackies, I need to find a new home for them, and I think I might get rid of the jumper. I have a plain grey jumper, which I'm definitely going to keep because basics I wear all the time in the winter. I have this corduroy shirt dress now i love a shirt dress if you watch my summer sales video you know i love a shirt dress so i'm probably going to keep this got another juicy that will stay but i need to put that on a better hanger we can deal with that later i've got this vintage corduroy shirt which i freaking love i wear it over stuff all the time it's such a nice layering piece it cost me three pounds at a vintage sale and it's like the best three pounds i've ever spent so definitely keeping that Hmm, I have my oversized grey night hoodie, which I practically live in in the winter, so that has to stay. A black jumper, I mean, it's a basic, it has to stay. This is not going well, I will get rid of stuff, but I just don't think it's from this section. I have my reversible puffer jacket from Burberry, it has to stay, I love this too. A black denim -y, corduroy -y jacket, I mean denim jacket basic, it fits me really well, I'm going to keep it. I have this coat, so this is from M&S, and it's like, I don't know what this style of coat is called, but I feel like everyone has one, and I always feel like I should get rid of it, but I always wear it, like every winter I always wear it, so I'm going to keep it, because I know I'll go to it, and denim jacket, staple, I can't get rid of it, I just can't, not much progress, but it's fine, I know the drawers are where it's at, so let's do the other side of the wardrobe, this is my winter coat, so we're just going to tuck that in there, I have this dress, this is from Primark. I used to always wear it to work, surprisingly, with layers and tights. Um, I haven't worn it in ages, but I do like that it's square. I'm gonna try it on, but it's probably gonna go. I have this dress, which is also Primark, but I freaking love it. Like, I just love the shape. It's black denim, it washes really well. It's got like a little belt with it. I just feel so cute in this. It gives me great cleavage. It's got a zip up the back. We know I love a zip, so this is staying. I have this, which is from Dorothy Perkins. It's like a blazer play suit. It's got shorts. It is so nice. Like it's like satin lapels and then like, I just love it. I really love this. So that is staying. I have this little dress from Primark, which has the tags on because I've never worn it. I always have the best intentions of wearing it, but I never do, so I'm not sure. I think I'm going to try it on, and if I'm not, like, immediately in love, it will go. I have this dress from a past Shein haul, and I wasn't sure if I should keep this, and you guys said I should, but I've not worn it since then. And I think last time I tried it on, it didn't quite fit my hips anymore, so I think this is another one I need to try on, and if it doesn't sit right on me i think it just needs to go i have this green dress which i loved when i got it this is also from shein but i didn't end up wearing it to the wedding that i thought i'd wear it to i wore a pink dress instead which is where is it it's in the clean washing you'll see it later 
So now I'm not sure what to do, if I should keep it or not. I think it's another one. I have to try it on and just make an immediate yes or no decision. Bah. I have this dress. It's like a white bodycon type thing from Femlux. It's one shoulder. I really want to wear this to a white party. That white party hasn't come yet. But when that day comes, I will be wearing this dress. I have this one, this is also Shein. It's like a ruched green moment. I love wearing this, so this will stay. I have another dress from Femlux, and it's, <laughs> tags are on. It is a burgundy, like, full bodycon number. I just don't feel the same way about this one as I do about the white one. Like, the white one, I'm like, you will be worn. You have a purpose. This one, I'm not too sure, so I think it's another try on, probably a no and then get rid of. Bye, baby. I have this dress, which everyone knows is the House of Sunny Hockney dress, but I actually got the dupe, and it is just amazing quality, because I think it costs like 12 pounds. Like, if anyone wants the link, I will link you. I got it off AliExpress. I know this is a trend piece, and a lot of people feel like this is out now, but I actually just really like the dress. Really, really like the dress. So I'm gonna keep this, and I know I'll just wear this for ages, like every time I wear it, I get so many compliments. It's so easy to wear with like sandals, trainers, anything. I love it. I don't care that it's now not trendy or people are over it. I don't care because I love it. I have this dress with the tags on. It's from um, Primark. It is like a typical currently on trend moment. I feel like all the trendy people are wearing stuff like this this summer. I really like it. There is a particular restaurant in London that I want to wear this to and until I get to live that moment, this dress is staying in my wardrobe. I have this thing that is from Zara but I got it from TK Maxx. There we go. Tags are still on but I really want to wear this. It's like a backless moment. Halter neck. Very cute like dark grey. So I'm going to keep this. I got this from TK Maxx for £6 I think. This is from Superdry. Now, I wouldn't have ever gone into Superdry, but I got this at TK Maxx, and look at it! Like, oh, I bought this for winter. I am going to wear this with either tights and heels, or like this and a thigh high black boot. It is so pretty on me. Like, I love a dark green, and it's got like navy running through it. It fits me extremely well. It is like a tight, but then flowy at the bottom moment. It is lined. It is just, oh yeah, it has pockets. It's gonna be a great little winter night out with the girls moment for me, so it's staying. So the rest of the stuff in this wardrobe is stuff that I featured in my everything I bought in the summer sales video. The black dress, the shirt dress, the white knitted dress. So if you wanna see like this bit, go and watch my other video, I'll link it again. Yeah, this is just gonna stay up here for now. I think some of it doesn't belong hanging but i'll deal with that in a second let me like actually make space in the rest of my storage and the last one is this shirt dress that i got from primark which i wear all the time i love it this is just a great staple piece i will be wearing this until it falls apart on me shoes um down here and up here i'm gonna do when i do shoes under the bed so let's move on to the big chest of drawers i took a quick break to eat some noodles <laughs> All of this made me hungry, but we're back. We're gonna do the top drawer. Black pink merch, black pink down the sleeves. Obviously going to keep this. Plain little basics white top. I actually wanna replace all of my basics. I'm gonna keep this one for now, because you know, I might just have no tops left. <laughs> but yeah, I think most of them are gonna go. And another one, bye. Little knitted crop top. I'm just not sure. I'm not sure. We're gonna put it in that buy pile for now. Semi see-through top from Primark has to go, it has to go. Oversized white t-shirt from Primark. I'm gonna keep this, because I love an oversized white tee just for life or for dance classes, so you can stay. Oh, little white cropped tee that I was looking for. I'm gonna keep this for dance classes. Little nude top. Again, I'm gonna keep one so I can replace it, but I just don't want to end up with no tops. Little white crop top with notch from Boohoo. I'm actually not sure. Not sure means no. Basic top 
Primark. Bye. Basic top Primark. Bye. Little crop top with ruched sides. I will probably put this in my dance drawer. Really cute green top from Primark. I actually love this. I have this in black as well. I think it's in the wash. So cute. I wear it all the time. I'm gonna keep this. Little pink vest top, probably Primark or H&M. Gonna keep this. I've been wearing this a lot as well. I prefer this shape to like the spaghetti straps at the moment. So I think I'm just gonna replace everything in this shape. Little t-shirt from Shein with a high neck. I do like it, but it fits kind of weird. So if I like it that much, I'll just get one that fits better. Goodbye. Black pink merch. Obviously, I'm gonna keep it. God, I'm gonna get rid of my fangirl stuff. Little white t-shirt doesn't quite fit me right, but I basically wore this in like all of my videos last year. I'm gonna let this go because I feel like it's just a thing that I have because I haven't went and bought a better white t-shirt. So this is gonna go. Little v-neck crop top. I am gonna let this go. I feel like it's another thing I wear because I don't have something else to wear, but I don't actually like it. Okay, pink, like semi-knitted, but quite thin top from, from The Gap, I think. This is really cute and I love the color and it is the softest material, so I'm gonna keep this because when winter comes around, I know this is gonna be on my body. Water break. Little crop top spaghetti straps, another thing that I just wear because I have nothing else to wear. Basically, I need to go shopping for better things, bye. Little nude crop top from Shein. I actually quite like this one. It fits me nicely. You know, if I'm gonna keep one little crop top singlet spaghetti straps, I'm gonna keep this one. It's a nice nude color as well. Health is the new wealth t-shirt. Absolutely love this. I love the color. I love that it's embroidered and I love the slogan. I'm not really a slogan girl, but this one, it just brings me joy, especially, you know, we just come for a pandemic. Probably still in one. Health is the new wealth, you know. Basic white t-shirt from Boohoo Man in the style of off-white. I used to live for this in my dance classes. I'm gonna put this back in my dance drawer, I think, and just keep that. Little white ribbed top from Pretty Little Thing. Has like a nice, like, I think it's called a scalloped edge. Still a v-neck, but like a nicer v-neck. If I'm gonna keep a little white crop, it's gonna be this one. H&M X Pringle top. It's like a high neck nude. It's got like Pringle written on the sleeves. I really like this, but I just haven't worn it. I feel like this is something that I need to hang and then I'll see it more. But I think this with like a black pant, very cute, especially for winter with the high neck. So I'm gonna keep that. Little red top um, Shein. I really wanted to like it. I really wanted to wear it more. I have, ooh. you know, I put it against me to say I don't wear this color, but I think this color would look really good on me, but I just don't wear this color. It's had a lot of opportunity. Ah, okay, I might try it on. Just get out of my life for now. Top Man t-shirt. I bought this for Vegas. I think it's really cool. It's just got money all over it. Another thing that I used to wear all the time. I think it needs to go in my dance drawer for now or even my pajama drawer. Oh my God, cute little money pajamas. I'm gonna keep that because I just really like it. Long sleeve, crop top, nude color. Very cute, love this. And I have the matching pant, which is like a flare. Love these, like always wear these around the house. Like these and even this Nike top is like a uh, wear around the house look for me. So I'm gonna keep both of them. This one's tricky. Powerpuff Girls Top Limited Edition. It's by ACDC Rag. Very limited. It has a great shape. It's fun. I wish the fabric was a little bit softer, like opens up at the sides. I know I like this, I'm just gonna keep it. I think I'll hang it, give it a little pride of place, you know, cause it is such a little fun thing. Black pink merch, staying. And this is Chainsmokers merch. I used to like live for this in my dance classes. I, I think maybe because it's summer, it's too hot to wear a long sleeve. It says memories across the back. Literally one of the best gigs I've been to. It was at Ali Pali, I loved it. I'm gonna keep this for the memories. <laughs> okay, moving on to the pants. I have got these kind of like checkered, is it check? I think it's check, gingham, I don't know but they're flares, they're high-waisted. These are from River Island, but I got them in TK Maxx. I would never be going into River Island. That shop just annoys me. I'm surprised they don't say River Island across the butt. 
but yeah i love these they're a bit too long for me but i love wearing them around the house and they are so comfy so they are definitely staying these are like black culottes i think these are pretty little thing these i always reach for them like they've become quite a staple they're very wide on the leg but that means like i really like them they're high-waisted they could be better quality but until i find a better quality pair to replace them with i'm gonna keep these some jeans from primark these did fit me really well whether they fit me now is another question i feel like with the jeans i'm gonna have to try them all on because who knows what's going on with that situation uh little top from boohoo i really like this staple going out moment you will stay jeans with diamantes these are um levi i think i picked up i think these were a black jean the same as that first jean and they're like a straight leg a little bit cropped these are Levi's, Diamante down the side. I just don't know if I like them because I've really gone off skinny jeans. I think my jeans, I'm gonna have to try them all on. This is the belt that goes with those black culottes. This is the only thing I kept from my old corporate wardrobe and it's cause I love them. So these are from Uniqlo, they're like a straight leg pan they're like a really nice winter fabric i love the pattern i love the color they're a little bit cropped they have elastic like the comfort when i threw away my whole <laughs> corporate wardrobe i had to keep these because i just love wearing them these are technically my favorite jeans so i got this pair of jeans from shein earlier in the year that i'm obsessed with I wear them in the large at the moment, but I kept the medium as well because I love these jeans so much that I was like, if I lose weight, because pre-pandemic I was a lot skinnier, if I lose weight, I don't want to lose those jeans because they're too big for me. So I'm going to tuck the medium away somewhere safe. I'm probably not going to have them in this drawer because like I don't need them yet. So I'll probably put them in the wardrobe or something, somewhere where they can just not take up space because this is like my everyday closed drawer and then we have a pair of blue denim levi skinnies like cut off this again i feel like i'm just gonna have to try these on i feel like i shouldn't throw away all my jeans even if they're skinny because one day i might like skinny jeans again definitely not happening right now i have felt the freedom of loose jeans and i don't see myself going back but these are like a high quality like a nice stretch but these are 26 Girls not a 26 anymore, like unless these are super stretchy, they're not gonna fit me. So I will probably try them on. Moving on, okay, we're gonna go down to pajamas. I have this little pink crop top that comes with like a pink high-waisted shorts and they're a type of thing I feel like I only have this because I have nothing else. Like I really feel like I just need to go and buy a bunch of pajamas like nice pajamas nice quality i love gilly hicks for this by the way seriously underrated i love their pajamas um so i'm gonna get rid of this and just replace little tiny booty shorts again i feel like i just have these because i have nothing else so i'm gonna inspire myself to get some new bits by checking it away tie-dye t-shirt i think i got this at a vintage kilo sale um, it's just a nice fabric, it's lightweight. I really like wearing this to bed, so this is gonna stay. Um, got this t-shirt at a Mean Girls event. It says she doesn't even go here, and I don't know if I've shown you guys yet, but I have a signed picture from Damien. Damien from Mean Girls signed a picture for me in my office. So I feel like I kind of need to keep this. It's like my little Mean Girls set. So I put it in a pink frame, obviously, and it says, you go JD Coco, and it's signed by Damien from Mean Girls. It's like the pride of my desk. I love it, I think it's so fun. Oh, I love this pajama set. So it's like a, I think it's from Boohoo. It's like lilac, really long pant, kind of flared, high-waisted, and it comes with a matching crop top, one of my favorite pajama sets ever. Absolutely keeping that. I have these pajama bottoms, which are from Topshop, rest in peace Topshop, although I know it's online, but it's not the same. Very comfy, but I feel like they're a bit old and tattered now, so I'm not sure. I think I might just 
keep them with the intention of replacing because like I'm I'm a pajama girl like I just love being comfy and in my pajamas I need a lot of pajamas I have this top um a pajama top it's from a pajama set and it says busy dreaming i just don't really like wearing a long sleeve top to bed i will keep the shorts but i think this is going to go i have this really cute silk pajama set that my nanny got for me so obviously i'm going to keep this and it comes with a little bag it's by um tabitha webb oh my knees hurt oh i'm not made for kneeling on the floor man <laughs> Little leopard booty shorts, um, again, one that I feel like I just have because I have nothing else. So I'm gonna get rid of these. Uh, a Bambi night dress from Primark. I actually wear this a lot and I like wearing this to bed, so I'm gonna keep this for now. <laughs> My knees hurt, I need to get up. All right, I've got a pillow. <laughs> We're back in action. This next drawer is like bodysuit shorts and stuff. These jogging bottoms are also juicy couture but they are like this kind of bottom where it like grabs to your ankle and I've really realized like I just don't like this kind of bottom especially on my juicy pants and I feel like I just wear these because I have them I don't feel like I actually like them so these are gonna go again I've got all my juicy pants now my straight legged ones and I love them and I just never wear these now so these can go, these were misguided. I've got a gray jogging bottom. It is scoochy at the bottom, but it goes so well with my gray jumper that I showed you in the wardrobe earlier. And it's like, it's an unofficial set. I actually really like it as a set. This is like the only scrunchy bottomed pant that I happily wear quite a bit in the winter. So this will stay, why am I trying to fold it nice? Folding nice is not the mission right now. I have got these custom dyed Levi's, very fun. I actually really like these, so I'm gonna keep them. Not sure if they fit. Should probably try them on, that's for sure. My Shein denim shorts, I actually like these, so they'll be staying at least for the rest of this summer. There's a lot of Shein in this drawer. This seems to have been the um, Shein shorts drawer. These black ones, which I have worn a few times and I actually quite like them, so they are staying. If you watch my Shein, my last Shein shorts haul, you'll like recognize all this stuff. So I've got like the lacy shorts, which I'm very excited to wear. And I saw a trend forecast the other day and it said that like Victorian bloomer lacy stuff is coming back in. So you saw it here first. I am ahead of the trends. Remember that, remember that. Hollister bodysuits. They are like a halter neck. I feel like they're a good basic piece to have even though I never really like, I never wear them. It's tricky with my bodysuits because it's like, I might wear you. I'm actually gonna keep these. I've got the tweed shorts from Shein, which I do wanna give it a try. Then we've got these ones. This is all just the Shein haul. I loved these. If you wanna see these properly on, watch my um, Shein shorts for Fit Fighters haul. Got that really cute like skirt that I got in that haul, which I already have an outfit planned for this. So these are definitely staying. Oh my god, these are my favourite. So these are vintage culottes. I got them for four pounds in a vintage sale. And they are just great. I love the fabric. I love the fit. They like cinch in on my waist. They have elastic. Like super wide leg. I will never get rid of these. I have this top. I got this um, at a market in, I want to say Thailand. It could have been Bali. I think it was Thailand. I know it's definitely a copy of some designer because I see all the K-pop girlies in this moon print. I just don't know who the designer is. It's like a sheer nude moment. It's like off the shoulder. I really like this ruching detail. So that's gonna stay. Ooh, an Abercrombie and Fitch bodysuit. So it's like one of those like old school American apparel style like low V ones. I am going to keep this because I feel like this is about to come back into fashion and I just want to be prepared. Lacy nude H&M bodysuit which has the tag on. I always forget I have this so I need to move it somewhere in my wardrobe where it get worn. But I do want to keep that. Again, something I forget I have which is this Nike bodysuit. Really fun to dance in. It has like Nike written down the sleeves. 
I want to keep this. This is that same halter neck bodysuit from Hollister. I'm gonna keep it. I have got an off the shoulder bodysuit from Misguided. It has like little loops on the sleeves to your thumbs as well. I know this fits like a dream, so I'm gonna keep it for that reason. And I have a similar one, also from Misguided, which has buttons, and I'm not gonna keep both. I'll probably just keep the plain one. These buttons sometimes don't sit right. The Abercrombie and Fitch bodysuit, which I always wear. Like I always go back to this. It's the nicest fit. It's like ribbed. It's covered in cat hair at the moment. Don't watch that. Um, it's open at the back, like fully open and has like crisscrossy stuff. I get a lot of wear out of this. So it's staying. Femme Lux bodysuit. I am not sure about this. So I'm going to put it in the go pile for now, but I think it'd be one of the things that I try on. And I've got this little top also from Femme Lux. A cute Christmas party moment. I'm going to try it on. It needs to be tried on. Moving on to the last drawer. Let me like lower the camera. Okay, so the problem with this drawer is that it literally is the maybe's drawer. It's stuff that I might wear or in and out of season stuff. It's stuff that I m literally might need. Dance costumey stuff, Halloween costumey stuff. So I've got a plain white shirt for dance costume purposes. I'm gonna keep it. I have got this like red bodysuit, which I also bought as like a dance costume. See, that is just such a bright red. I don't really wear red. I don't know. We're gonna just for now it can go in the no slash maybe pile i've got a dance t-shirt from a company i used to dance with and i'm like will i ever go back to that company and dance with them again so it's like i don't know um these were an outfit that i wore in a dance concept video they're like a really fun pink flare i could probably see myself wearing this to some kind of like party or like on a holiday or something so i feel like i should keep you too this is a skeleton costume and I'm going to keep it because like it's a really good emergency Halloween costume. Gold sports bra. Oh, back in my cheer days this used to mean so much to me and now it just like it's a nothing moment. Maybe I should wear it to some dance classes, get some wear out of it before it leaves my life. Oh so these, I haven't worn these in a dance concept video yet but I want to. Look at the sparkles. A little white top that I also wore in um my itsy not shy cover video it's just like if i get rid of this stuff when it comes to like doing a concept video and stuff i'm gonna need costumey things oh these can go so i got these like typical like k-pop high-waisted shorts and there's absolutely no chance these will fit me right now rainbow crochet top very small <laughs> but i feel like this kind of stuff i need for pride like need things so i don't buy things every year okay harley quinn old school comic book style harley quinn halloween outfit i have not worn this to any kind of halloween party yet so this is definitely staying and also i haven't worn this one this is bambi um still got the tags on but this is a bambi outfit I think it's good to always have a Halloween costume or a fancy dress costume just ready because like you know when these parties come around and you have nothing, it's just so much effort so I'm like oh I'll just keep them. Here are my Harley Quinn ears, cute. Um, I've got a bunch of bikinis, let's just scoop the bikinis over here. Flower headband, another thing that if I throw this away someone's going to have some kind of like floral themed hendu and I'm going to need it. So I keep it like just for that moment. Cute little burgundy crop top with tie up shoulders. I love wearing this on holiday. This is a super cute dress from Misguided years ago. It's like definitely one of my holiday go-tos. Little cream crochet top moments. Again, this is just stuff that I keep to take on holidays with me. Little satin shorts, a holiday piece. I've not even worn these. These shorts are from Uniqlo. They fit so nice. And I freaking love them. I think they probably still got the tags on. And I just forgot they were in here. So I need to put these in a different drawer where I'll actually find them. I got them in black and white as well. Here we go. But I just love them. This is a cute little short. I need to put these somewhere where I will wear them this summer. Devil horns. Another Halloween essential that if I get rid of it, someone's going to need some devil horns. Oh, work pants. 
I'm gonna keep these because they fit me well. They are plain black pant. I might just need that, you know? Little black cardigan from Primark. I love the fit of this. I love the fit of this. I know that's why I kept it. It is quite faded though, so I need to dye it. And I have a pink one. I know this has the tags on. Oh, surprisingly it doesn't. Maybe I did wear this. I probably didn't. I never wear them. I literally never wear them. Little bra top from Meshki. I need to try this on for sure. That same top with the moons on, but in a lighter color. This is like a cream color. I need to pick which one I like. I'm gonna make them battle. Come here, you. I'm gonna try them both on. They're gonna have a battle. <laughs> I can't be bothered to deal with swimwear right now. I think I might just do that when I do my underwear, so that would just stay off camera. And the rest of this is holiday bits. So I've, oh, I love these. Like a satin, like Versace style print. High waisted short, I love these. I have this play suit that I got from Primark. It still has the tags on. I think I just wanted to buy something that day. Is anyone else like this? Like you go into a shop and you just want to buy something? I'm not even sure if I want this. Shein skirt that was like a tinsy bit too small, but I wanted to like take up the seam and make it like a beach cover up. I love this print. So I'm gonna keep it in my holiday drawer. Oh, little halter neck moment. It's like a play suit. I got this in Bali. It's handmade, hand beaded, and a gorgeous color. So I feel like I'll keep this for holidays. This is like a shorts, kimono, and boob tube set in a really fun print. I've had this for years. I always wear it on holiday, always. So I'm gonna keep that. Sailor nautical moment, high-waisted shorts and a crappy toppy and i know this is another thing that i know i wear it on holiday so i want to keep it i want to at least get to my next holiday okay two of this dress i got these in thailand one of my thailand trips i love these i even wear them in london like these aren't even just a holiday thing they're a cute little is it a smock dress this is the darker colored one that like really low back really fun really easy to wear i actually want to move these up whilst it's summer again i got it in like a nice blue color really really like them this play suit i really like it i kind of want to dye it a different color though what color do you think i should dye it it's kind of it's very cute it's like the fit is great on me it's got a lace moment it's got like a cut out if you were gonna dye this what color would you dye it i'm thinking maybe like a navy those satin black shorts that i showed you earlier i also have in a sage green and a rose gold. I feel like they have another holiday or two left in them. So they will stay. And then like a cotton similar looking short thing. I need to deal with this drawer next time I go away. Or I just need to pack all this stuff up out of a drawer and put it in like a box under the bed so I can have this drawer for actual life things. Cause these are all holiday things. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Oh my God, I should have a Halloween box, a holiday box and a bikinis box and I can have this drawer. Genius. Okay, we're gonna move on to my other set of drawers. This big pile at the back of the bed here is stuff that's going. So I think I'm making good progress. Like that is a lot of stuff. Like this is a double bed. I'm trying to decide what I wanna do because I've, I've got like one more drawer here, which is closed. Then I've got my clean washing and then I've got this I don't even know what that chair is. I think it's just stuff that I've worn recently that I haven't put away. And I've got shoes and I want to do bags. And I've got to put everything back <laughs> that I'm keeping. So I think we'll go through this drawer. And then I'll do shoes and bags tomorrow. All I'm doing tomorrow is getting my second vaccination at like 10.20. So as long as the vaccination doesn't like knock me out, we can keep this going. Okay, so last thing for today. This is my fitness drawer with all of my like dance wear, gym wear, etc. We're gonna go through this and then I'm gonna put away everything that's a keeper and just save the rest for tomorrow. This is from Boo here. I know what this is. It's like a wraparound thing. Really great for lyrical classes. So this will be staying. White Nike Air crop top, just a good basic 
to dance in. The problem is I need a lot of fitness dance clothes because I do a lot of classes. Oversized Nike t-shirt with like trainers hanging off. I really like this for when it's more of like a hip hop routine. It kind of gets me in the, the zone, you know? And it has the trainers hanging on the back as well. So it's like a pair of trainers hanging off your shoulder. We're gonna keep this for now. My AYB t-shirt, this is the studio that I dance with. So I'm gonna keep this. I've got this little Nike crop top. I got this from, I did a job for Nike as a model. <laughs> um, not really a model, it was like a, a thing with my dance studio. My dance studio is partnered with Nike. So like I got to go on one of their jobs, which was amazing. And this is what I wore. I don't wear it enough, so I am going to make sure I wear this. It has good memories, so I wanna keep it. I have this top, which I used to always wear to dance. I need to crack it out. I love the bright yellow. Really fun design. This is from Boohoo Man. This little crop top, I think it's Primark. I just like the fit, but I never wear it, and I've got so many little crop tops I can wear to dance. I'm just, please go. So I've got these little like biker shorts that I got in one of my Shein shorts hauls. So I think I just broke a nail. Um, I am going to keep all of these because I have, I'm doing a 30 day kind of yoga challenge. It's about flexibility. I'm doing it as a review and for myself. I do want to be more flexible and I want to see if it works. So I'm going to do like 30 days of this yoga challenge, see how flexible I can get. And I'm gonna need some cute yoga shorts to do it in. So I'll keep all of them. These are white shorts by Champion. They fit me great. Great. So I will absolutely be keeping them. Oh my God, I love these. I got these from this brand on ASOS. It's called South Beach. They're like a double layered short, like a layer of mesh and then a tighter layer. So I can have that kind of loose look, but still be protected when I'm literally grinding the floor in class. And I love that for me. Leggings, these are a high-waisted legging. They're by a brand called Kyodon. I love this brand, very good quality, very nice and thick, great for winter classes, and great for just like a good pair of high-waisted leggings, highly recommend. I have these leggings, which I actually really like the quality of. They are like old school, old school Fabletics, but they're not high-waisted, and I kind of wish they were. I think I might just get rid. I prefer the other leggings, and we're trying to cut down, so bye. Under Armour base layer shorts, even if I don't wear these for dance classes, these are something like if I'm wearing something and it's a bit loose, if I want an extra layer of protection, I tend to wear these, so I will be keeping these. High-waisted leggings from a Primark. I think I got these because I gained a lot of weight and none of my clothes fit me and these were the only thing that fit in that moment because they're like a 12 to 14. Yeah, they are, I just need, I'm gonna keep these because my weight is up and down recently and I might need these again. <laughs> this is Forever 21. I got this years ago and I'm just obsessed with it and I'm, I don't think I'll ever let it go. It's a tight dye unitard and because it's such a good fabric you can like fold it into a high waist short and it looks great as well. I love, love, love these. Um, little white basic top moment. Um, just good for like doing home yoga and stuff. So I'm gonna need that for my challenge. I think this is swimwear. This is like a Calvin Klein sports bra moment, but I actually think it's swimwear, but I do wear this often. I think it's a cute little flexi moment for if I wanna look cute in dance class. Nike sports bra, size small, but also the tiniest small in the world. Like it is literally like, <laughs> my body starts here, right? This doesn't fit me, so it's gonna have to go. <laughs> Plain black sports bra moment. Um, just got like a mesh back, I'm not sure. But you know, no, this has served me very well. I'm gonna keep it. White um, bike shorts, double layered from Misguided. I am going to keep these because I've never come across a pair of white bike shorts that one, fit me well and two, aren't see-through. And although I don't wear them often, if I ever wanted a short like this, this is the best it's gonna get for me. <laughs> Some Nike, just loose fitting shorts, but they also have like a knicker layer, which makes them good for dance, so. Staying. Ah, uh, these are from my dance studio's own brand, like a high-waisted moment. I got the AYB logo, I think it's there. Very cute little yoga short. We'll keep these for the men's. 
and just for wearing to class. Nike Pro Shorts, I'm actually going to get rid of these. These normally sell for quite well on eBay and I have the Under Armour ones which actually fit me better, so sorry. <laughs> Bad Nike Pro Shorts. Another one of those cute little seamless moments. I think I got a six pack of these, so you're going to see a few. Nike Sports Bra. I'm torn with this because I like the design but I'm not so sure about the mustard yellow colour. I'm not sure about you. It's going to go on the try on pile. Another of those seamless tops. I just got a six pack off Amazon. This white sports bra. I don't have a white sports bra to replace it with but it literally like the elastic is gone. It offers no support. I wore this to its absolute death. Thank you, White Nike Sports Bra, but it's time for us to say our goodbyes. Burberry Sports Bra, very cute, very nice. I can wear it to the gym, I can wear it in life. I got this from the Burberry sale shop for, I kid you not, like 90% off. I think it was meant to be about 300 and I got it for 30 pounds. So I'll definitely keep this, very cute. Cute little designer moment if I wanna flex in dance class, you know? Another one of those seamless. Things. Pink juicy sports bra, another one that I just don't really wear. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Someone will give this a better home. Oh, another Nike sports bra, really like this. Tie dye, cute. So we'll be keeping that one. These are some like basic layers by a brand called Dance Skin. I don't know. I think I have this in two colours. Uh, I think I'll keep this darker one then and um, we'll get rid of this one. I don't need it in two colors. Nike sports bra. Why is it dirty? It like you can make it sexy because you can rush the front. Again, if I want to flex some cleavage, this is the one, but it's got a bit of dirt on the front. I'm going to put it in the wash. Oh, I love these. These are Gilly Hicks sports bras. They have a square neck and I just really like, they. All, I always get compliments when I'm wearing these. Just like a square neck sports bra straps at the back really like these i actually really like gilly hicks as a brand this is a cute little sports bar moment by a brand called saint jude i feel like i need to tr oh it's called sixth june um i need to try this on it like wraps around the body i remember wearing it and i loved it but i never wore it again so let's try it on and see how i feel and the last one is another juicy moment. I know I prefer this to the other one. It's really cute, like little seamless thing with juicy across the bottom. Very cute. I will keep that one. Okay, so let's have a look in the wardrobe. So I kind of color coded everything. So from lightest to darks, I hung up a few things. So like this Pringle top, I wanted it somewhere I could see so it could be worn. I kept the yellow cord here because it's beautiful. And yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. And then on the other side, same thing. Everything is from lights to darks. So everything is on the nicer hangers now and all of the old hangers are just, I um, don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but they're gonna go. This is everything that is going. This is all of my clean washing. Worrying that they're kind of the same. Actually, no, I feel like the clean washing is a little bit less. The stuff going is just folded better. This is like all the jeans and stuff that I need to try on. This is more stuff that needs to be put away. Um, all of the swimwear is down here in this little box now. I think I'm gonna order a few more of these boxes and then put the Halloween stuff in one and just kind of clear out that drawer. But let me show you where we are at. So fitness drawer. Look at this, just so neatly folded, looking good. Oh my God, look at those little cat legs. He looks like in the Wizard of Oz, he's been crushed by the house. So the drawer of tops is looking pretty good. Like this is all my small tops, like um, vest tops and stuff. Then we have like t-shirts, trousers and jeans will go here. I'm really happy with this drawer. Pajamas, see everything is color coded from darkest to lights at the front, looking good. Like everything is just looking a lot more organized. And then the bottom drawer, which is like randoms is even looking better. Everything is just neatly folded. Everything is in a color way. Oh, no. This is not good lighting. This is not good lighting. Okay, here. This is not good lighting. Oh my gosh. This is decent. Okay, 
So that is the end of part one. Obviously this is gonna run into a part two or else we would literally be here for over an hour. The next part will be all of my shoes, my bags, my accessories, and a little bit of clothing as well because we've just got the clean washing to go through. And yeah, I hope this has inspired any of you who are looking to clear out your wardrobe and just organize things and see what you have and Kamari fold everything and color code it and just all the goodness. If you have made it this far, you might as well subscribe. I mean, we've been together for what, a half an hour now. Just stay on my channel, it's a good time. And yeah, I will upload the part two soon. I'm gonna film it tomorrow. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you all in that video. Bye guys.